Hello, my name is Tim Crofton and at Just Desserts we are cooking sweet things from every country in the world. I like to cook, I've travelled a lot, so join us as we eat. Hello everybody, it's Tim here again, Just Desserts, and we're, we're doing our wild trip around the world, eating as many desserts as we can on the way, and today we are in Samoa, 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 which is kind of, uh, well it's an island in the South Pacific, really quite a long way away from everything. Uh, nearest island would be Fiji, I think, and Fiji, as you probably know, is way off the east coast of Australia, so it's remote. Uh, and very tropical uh, and so what we're going to do today because it's so hot here in Albuquerque we're, we're going to make a sort of desserty drink uh, it's called a Vimalini I'm sure my pronunciation is very do very dodgy I'm, I don't speak an awful lot of Samoan but it's a Valmalini and it is basically a cocktail with all sorts of tropical fruits that include pineapple, coconut, watermelon, lemon, uh, it's going to be divine. Um, what we need, uh, first of all, is what I hope is a medium uh, watermelon. I think it's medium-y. Um, and we are just going to cut that open and take the innards out of it. Um, I've got a big bowl here which is going to be the receptacle for uh, all our various juices. Oh, look at me, I don't have a spoon. I'll get one here. And there are seeds in this, but they're very tiny. I, I'm not going to worry too much about them. Oh, plop. Make sure all the juice from your watermelon goes uh, into the pot because it all is tasty and yum yum and not to be wasted. Whilst I'm doing this, don't forget stinkers. We need you, we need you following. If you haven't already followed us on Facebook, Tim Croft and Just Desserts, or uh, Instagram, apparently that's going super well. Also our blog, um, and what else do we have? Oh, and, well obviously our YouTube, uh, Tim Croft and Just Dessert. Uh, please, sign up, like, love, loathe, whatever it is you, uh, whatever it is you feel is appropriate, but it would be lovely to hear from you. Ask questions too, make suggestions. So that's a medium, uh, a medium watermelon. If the seeds are big and gross, definitely take them out. These are very tiny little white ones, often, as you know, they're black. This is two cups of coconut milk. Um, I actually, this is homemade coconut milk. Uh, it's very easy to make if you can't find it in a can. Just get uh, dried coconut uh, and add um, warm water and, and then put it in the... <coughs> <laughs> the Magimex, you know, in your food processor, uh, and let it run for about five minutes and it'll turn it into the milk you want. So, two cups of um, coconut milk, and then I've got uh, about a cup of uh, coconut, extra coconut. I am then going to put in four tablespoons of lemon. Here it is. I, this looks like a very juicy lemon. Okay, last thing that's going to go in there is um, 500 grams, which is about, about 500 grams. It's about a pound, isn't it? Yeah, it's about a pound of um, pineapple. And I have a fruity gadget. Don't know where I got this fruity gadget, but it's literally and figuratively fruity. Uh, and what it does, rather beautifully, is it coils out the pineapple 
from the middle of the prickly outside. So you, you, if you, when you normally, when you peel a pineapple, it, uh, you get flecks of the pineapple in the flesh, but this avoids the whole inconvenience. I don't know quite how much 500 grams is going to be, so I'll just do the whole thing and uh, weigh it out. Here you go, nearly there. Very satisfying gadget, this one. Um, all the way through. Let's take that out. Actually, come. And I guess if you felt really adventurous, you could turn that into a. Uh, a little tropical drink. Oh, but it's got a leak. In fact, it's got a big leak, so don't tap it into the tropical cup. Um, but there you go. See, look, the core is out, the whole skin is out, straight into the compost. I should probably give that to the girls, actually. I'm sure they'd love it. Uh, let's do a quick measure here. As I say, we're after 500 grams. Let's see what we've got. The other rather handy thing about this is you can just go like that. And there it is. So, Not quite 500 grams there, just under, so slap that all in. Oh, this, uh... <laughs> oh, a bit flew out there. Oopsie. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> Barely fits in the bowl. In fact, there is quite a lot around the edges, but this is all fully pureed. Um, as I say, you, you get to decide whether you want it um, diluted with water, uh, if you want to put sugar in it or not. I've had a taste, it's divine, uh, and I think I am going to add a tiny, tiny bit of sugar, uh, or sweetener, not too much, um, and I've got ice, obviously. If you want to... Uh, put an umbrella in, you should, because it is definitely going to be a very uh, sophisticated mocktail. Um, and if it's anything like it is in New Mexico right now, it will be just what the doctor ordered. This I'm making up. I don't know if this is a good way or a bad way of doing it. But you see it's quite thick. So, um, as I say, feel free to turn that into a slightly more... Oh, I've got a chunk. You can go back in, Chunky. Uh, feel free to turn it into a slightly diluted mocktail. Uh, I'll give it a go. So, it is a... Vimalini, Vimalini from Samoa. I'm going to give it a tiny stir to make sure all that sugar has gone round. Here we go. Oh la la, that is so lovely. Taste the sunshine. Hmm, I think I need a small trip to Samoa. Next time, well, we're good. next on our alphabetical list is Sao Tome e Principe. Uh, and we are going to make a banana bolo from there, which is like a very, very fancy banana cake with caramelised... Nom, 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 nom. Tune in and see. Take care, naughties. Lovely to see you. Bye.